hello curiosity we're going to look at the gala create the crater so let's enter load world where we can learn how to score points so click load world this time I'm going to pick the Kodu, the previous tutorial there it is, Kodu H4 Tutorial 2. Let's click on it and play. In the last lesson, we created Curiosity and two rocks. Click the Escape key and click the Object tool. Because this time we want to program the rocks. If you hover over, you can see that's an unknown rock and that's an unknown igneous rock. We're going to program these rocks. So let's first of all go over to the unknown sedimentary rock, right click up to program when this rock is scanned click the when when the rock is scanned can you see that picture of a rock scanned you're going to score five points so when rover scans the rock you're going to score five points Here's the scores in the game section. Can you see a cup? You're going to score, click the plus, click the plus again, five points. And the colour of the points are going to be red. Here's the colours. And we're going to choose red. When the rock, click on the plus, when the rock is lasered, laser beamed, you will score, here's the score in the game section, you will score 10 points this time. Click on the plus, 10 points, and again, I want the score in red. There's the colour, there's the red. When the rock has been beamed, so when the rock has been beamed, so that's repeating that one above, so say of repeating it, we'll move it over. So when the rock has been beamed, you are going to glow. So the rock is going to glow. There's glow. Lots of different colours. Into colours and into random. So the rock is going to colour all different colours when it's beamed me that's me the rock i'm going to glow lots of different colors once finally when the rock is drilled or inspected this time i'm going to score 20 points when the rock is inspected, we're going to score 20 points. And again, it's going to be in red. So that's the sedimentary rock. We're going to do almost the same 
for the igneous rock. Press escape. Right click on the igneous rock and click program. When the rock is scanned. When the rock is scanned, you're going to score five points. What's going to happen? You're going to score how many points? Click the plus. Five points. And it's going to be red. All points are going to be in red. When the rock is beamed, you are going to score 10 points. And to score the green plus, 10 points. And it's going to be red. And when it's beamed, it's going to glow. Lots of different colours. So when it's beamed, it's repeating that. So say of doing when beamed, when beamed, going to glow. It's in actions, going to glow. What are you going to glow? Lots of different colours. Here's colours. Random. Remember it's the multicolours. Lots of different colours. Who's going to glow? Me. The rock. And how many times? Just once. We're not going to inspect or drill the igneous rocks because we can tell what the igneous rocks are from the laser beam. Let's press escape. Let's press play. So here we go Rover, use the arrow keys. Have a look at this igneous rock. Let's see if we get any points if we scan it. OK Curiosity, scan it. Press S for scan. Yes, fantastic. Right, what type of rock is it? It's an igneous rock. Now we don't need a sample of igneous rock. We don't need to drill this one. But if we press the laser beam, we can see what it's made of. And we get 10 points. Wow, we've got 15 points, fantastic. Can you see 15 on the right hand side of the screen? And it's glowing blue. So the spectrometer inside Curiosity will now be able to tell what that rock is made of. Scan it, press S. And it's a sedimentary rock. Wow, this time we can drill it to get a sample. And we should get 20 points. So if we get 20 points, we could end up with 40 points. Press D. And yes, we have got 40 points. Fantastic. Now save your game. Press escape. Go to the house. Save my world. Now I loaded one previously, so we want to change this to number three. Put your name. I'm going to change this to number three, but I want you to put your name. So here, type your name and then click save. Now this is what it should look like at the end of tutorial three. Let's save it.
and see you next time.